Lively, he's energetic. He's almost the bumblebee of Sheffield. Understanding from Coventry. Tell you what, that front line with him in it is a real danger. Okay, well, he's had a brilliant start to the season. Three in his first three league games, close to beating his record last season. And I think Tom Cleverley, well, he's done some good things. They've changed the formation, they pushed him higher up the pitch rather than being that defensive box to box midfielder. And it has really been a masterstroke. Hopefully, that can continue for Watford this afternoon. Lee Henry did compare Callum O'Hare to a bumblebee, you did hear it right. Well, Chris Wilder sent Tom Cleverley a message of congratulations when Tom Cleverley got the job at Watford. And he is taken to life in the dugout seamlessly. It looks a natural fit. And whisper it quietly, he's brought a bit of calm to a club that in recent times had been chaotic because of the constant head coach changes. So Watford, the 100 percenters, arrive at Bramall Lane with that record on the line. Sheffield United, who've had their struggles in the calendar year here at Bramall Lane. They've not won here in the league since December. Did win here, though, in the Carabao Cup against Wrexham. And their famous anthem at full throttle as we get underway. Watford looking to muscle back in onto top two territory. Sheffield United looking for a statement of intent here on home soil. And as usual, this place is rocking. Not too far from the centre of Sheffield as Sheffield United want to try and take the game to Watford from the off here with Gilchrist. And he's looking to link up with O'Hare. Strong challenge that was made by Sia Ralta. But Watford will come here with a spring in their step, having won five out of five so far. Four of them have been at home at Vicarage Road, but they were winners on the opening weekend. And what looked a tough assignment, and was a tough assignment in South East London against Millwall. And they got off to a brilliant start, and then credit to Tom Cleverley. Head coach really has re established the football club. Callum O'Hare looking to torment Wofford. He stepped away from Sierra Ralta. He goes down. The ball is bundled in in any case. Now that is a statement of intent right at the start of this game. Callum O'Hare tormenting championship defences again. But now he's doing it in a Sheffield United goal. And that searing run of his led to that goal. Well, I did say he was the bumblebee, and he is buzzing in these early moments. We'll not even hit the two-minute mark, and that ball getting out wide. Looks sack it. It's refiltering. And clever little pockets that Callum O'Hare picks up. Maybe got to go to fire from a defensive perspective. It's scruffy. It doesn't matter. It's all about the run from Callum O'Hare. Composes himself. Little toe poke. It might just... The Callum O'Hare's goal because it comes off Batman towards goal. It just flies in the net. I tell you what, it's scrappy, but it doesn't matter. It's a great start from Sheffield United. Yeah, it may go down as a, a backman own goal. Callum O'Hare will want it, he will claim it, he deserves it. But that's some start from Sheffield United. Well, I think he should claim it as well. I think Batman just loses control, he points it in the right direction. As you said, Gary, I don't think it will matter, will it? It's all about the frantic start from the home side. Well, Chris Wilder admits he turned on the charm to convince Callum O'Hare to head to Bramall Lane. He had plenty of offers, a free agent when leaving Coventry in the summer. And he's already made an impact here. Now Watford, who did fall behind against Derby last week at Vicarage Road. To pick themselves out of a hole here. There's Raksaki. Thanks by Larusi. Raksaki, who is stronger on his left side, but can go either way. Palmer runs into trouble and doesn't get the free kick that he was looking for. The referee is Andrew Kitchen.
And it really has been a frantic start. And it's all about composure. And Watford, can they respond? Plenty of time left in this game. Sheffield United get the free kick. They have rattled Watford from the off here. It's all about turning this place back into a fortress, isn't it? And there was real bad vibes last season. It wasn't great at all. It's been a rebuild. And the ball had just gone out of play. And a chance for Watford to try and catch their breath here. But some starts from Chris Wilde, this team. And as you can see there, had a, a bit of a taste of life at Watford just over a year ago as interim head coach. Now back in the arms of his first love. Rachman Hotic. Chris Wilder doesn't regret that move to Wofford, which came in the spring of 2023, said it was uh, character building. And uh, he gained valuable experience from it. But here's a chance for Shaq Vatadze to make the move forward for Watford. Shaq Vatadze can drive teams back, but was unable to come up with the finish there. Yeah, it was brilliant way he just picked up the pieces. Shaq Vatadze really driven in towards the final third and then into the box. Just couldn't generate a shot, could it? Towards the goal that's going to trouble. Well, Kiefer Moore's gone down off the ball here. There's Souza in front of Harmer. Keeper Moore has got back to his feet, but he's hobbling. Well, there was definitely a, an off the ball collision, and he's not one to go down, is he? Keeper Moore. Maybe just making a sprint towards the final third as Sheffield United get a hold of the ball. It's just a collision, is it? Moves the way out of this league, Kiefer Moore. He's done it with uh, Bournemouth and with Ipswich Town last season and now is looking to repeat the feat with Sheffield United. There's Matty Pollock. He's been excellent so far this season. Kumbayo gives chase. I was just saying what a brilliant start and have to give credit to Tom Cleverley. Everyone's on the spin, it's been absolutely brilliant. And going for a record, number one six in the history of they in all comp. So you have to say that the start they've had, they have to certainly respond, don't they? And you know, the transformation that since he's took over, I do feel that there's a real buzz around Watford at the moment. I think he's just re-established the club. Obviously, it's a new project. So players, decent players, that have left the club as well. I do feel there's a real good vibe around the place. Ahmed Hodzic. Back to Michael Cooper, who is making his home debut today. Now Kiefer Moore. Andrews is after it. This one will be over the moon, only with the start. Just approaching eight minutes, and they have really asked questions early doors. They've got the attacking players on the ball. Well, they come again. Brilliant cross, but no takers for Sheffield United. I'm sure a slight disappointment because this delivery from Moros is absolutely spot on. It really is. It's driven hard and low. It's waiting. One of them, Sheffield United, front four, just to go and tap that into the back of the net. No one there to take it. Well, he looks to be another really good piece of business done by Sheffield United. Harrison Burrows from Peterborough, 
in the summer. There were around about five championship clubs who uh, were after him. It was Sheffield United who got him, the League One player of the season last season. That's Gilchrist. Oh, here's another one as well, isn't he, Gilchrist? On that right hand side, does it? It's a real nice balance about Sheffield United. I know that maybe they slightly like defensively, but there's lots to like what they have. Sheffield United unbeaten in their opening three in the championship so far. They uh, had to uh, immediately put that two-point deduction to bed the start of the season, which they did on the opening night with the win at Preston. Chris Wilder thought they were naive here against Queen's Park Rangers when they were two up, but only took a point in the end in that 2-2 draw. He said they should have jose it, Jose Mourinho'd it, and uh, managed the game better than they did, although Queen's Park Rangers were excellent in the second half. And it was that draw at Norwich last week, so he's still waiting for lift-off, but there has been quite a bit of change here in the summer. Pollock's ball forward, Chak Vatadze. Opportunity potentially here. As uh, Moussa Zasoko and LaRussi up to combine, and LaRussi was on loan here last season, forces the corner. He does well, up. again, that formation. Obviously playing three at the back, the wing-backs are so important, so Lucy there just making that run. Obviously one of them attacking midfielders, just getting that little flick on that puts him advancing in the space. Sierra amongst those waiting here for Watford. It goes towards that far post dangerously towards the far post. That's where Sissoka was waiting. Now Sheffield United looking for something on the counter-attack. Andrews, though, covers the ground and gets there ahead of O'Hare. Jack Vitadze. it. Bayo waiting in the middle here and was closing in on that, and it's really good defending by Harrison Burrows. Yeah, it's brilliant play from Watford. They just refill to the attack. Sheffield United turn it over quite quickly, but Watford gets straight back on the front foot. It's a super delivery. Nice at that. And swinging ball. They yeah, just can't get on there, and it's good defending. Watford are beginning to make their presence felt here. There's Andrews. Gets away from Vacuum Bio. There's our blaster. Ahmed Hotic. And in Sosa. Now our blaster. There's Gilchrist. Sosa. He's just caught there by Sissoko. Harmer. Harmer again with the nudge in the back and concedes the free kick. Well, it's a needless foul, isn't it, to give away, but has to be credit for Watford. The response has been excellent, it really has. Literally just weathered that storm early on from Sheffield United and that's a lovely ball over the top, and Bayo gives chase. Cooper's away from home, and he tried to scoop the ball over the Sheffield United goalkeeper, but he couldn't quite pull it off. But that will be a concern for Sheffield United, and how easy that was for Watford to get in behind. It's far too easy, and it's just a direct ball, is it, from Matty Pollock. Great ball, actually, into the path of Bayo. He's got to do better for me. I don't think he's ever in control of the ball. I think, if anything, maybe... Another touch might have just set himself up a little bit better. Well, that's a massive chance to get that equalising goal for Watford. He scored that brilliant scissor kick goal against Derby last week. Vacuum Bayo from a ball which was over the top two. I think it was from Pollock. Yeah, it was a super finish, wasn't it? 
Oh, bicycle keep reminds me of myself back in the day. <laughs> I always said it's uh, Lee Humble Hendry. <laughs> There's LaRussi to Shakvatadze. Try to pick out Andrew. Wofford's wing backs look to try and make an impact here. The key for Sheffield United today with their system of 4 2 3 1 against the wing backs of Wofford is to try and pin them back and make Wofford a back five. Well, yeah, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Because you do feel that area in particular for Watford. That's where they seem to have the danger. Lucy on that left side, and, and Andrews has been absolutely brilliant on this right hand side. Likes to get forward, so he's going to be a bit of cat and mouse at times that have to force each other back. We're getting a lot of animals and wildlife in the commentary today, Lee. I'm not sure what you're up to, but there we know, go. You know, I'm an animal lover. <laughs> oh, her wins the ball back. There's Kiefer Moore. Maksaki is waiting inside the box and bursting forward too. Oh, there's the challenge, it's a penalty. LaRussi across on the cover. Tried to stop that counter-attack. Went to ground, committed the foul. Our blaster was on the end of it as he burst forward and Sheffield United have a penalty. Well, I'll tell you what, it's all about the run really from only our blaster. But to pick out a pass, so precise, wasn't it, from Kiefer Moore? Struggling with options, but I'm not sure, having looked at this, whether it actually is a penalty. At first, I actually thought it was. I thought there was a load of contact, but he pulls away. There is slight contact, but I think Arblast is really clever. Obviously, momentum he makes that decision for Andrew Kitchen to point to the spot, but... Sheffield United won't grumble one bit. It is Kiefer Moore against Daniel Backman. The Watford fans behind that goal in the lower tier. Kiefer Moore and Backman gets down to it. It was his own goal which put Watford behind here. He didn't know too much about that. He knew plenty about this penalty save. Well, this is a brilliant save, Gary. It really is because it's tucked right in that far. Left-hand corner, massive hand from Daniel Batman. Brilliant save. I'll tell you what, some might say a bit of justice was in there. He may be busy again here, Batman. Corner scuffed away, it's Harmer. Suter, now Vinnie Sosa. There's Harmer. Harrison Burrows. And that will sail behind. And a sigh of relief from Watford. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a real big save, isn't it? Crucial time as well. You felt that Sheffield United going and getting a second might just give him the momentum. But Kiefer Moore, I don't think he does an awful lot wrong, to be quite honest. He hits it firm. It's low. Yes, Batman goes the right way. But it's a super save, it really is. It is a big moment in this game. Kiefer Moore. LaRussi didn't have too many happy memories of this place last season during a loan spell here. And he committed uh, that foul as it was seen by the officials. There's... I'll tell you, every time they get forward, they look dangerous. And I think he he's the bright spark, isn't he? Big direct pass, diagonal, work it really well. A sure, good strike and really good block as well. I think it's Souza that just put his body on the line. There's Callum O'Hare. 
Kiefer Moore. Rucksacki was waiting in the middle. Jacques Vitadze, who's been heavily involved so far for Watford. KMB, the referee has played the advantage. Here's Sissoko. KMB. He has been moved into this more advanced position from the uh, number six role where he had been operating for Watford. And cleverly feels he has all the attributes to uh, operate in this number 10 role, and we've seen that already this season. Yeah, I've seen traits of him last season really where he liked to get forward and arrived in the box late. Always been a fan, if I'm being quite honest. Got that powerful drive. We've seen already that he's got an eye for goal. Larusi. There's Morris. He's uh, playing in a new role for him as well. His left centre back role. Payembe. Larusi. Running into Gilchrist. But here's Larusi again. Now Sissoko. Pollock steps forward. The stretch from Gilchrist. The Watford beginning to build some momentum here. Yeah, they've been really good. They really have responded well. Is responding away to our left. Sierra Alta. Deli Bashiru looking for a little bit of movement. Kayembe. Now Matty Pollock again. I really like that midfield area in particular. I feel like that could be a real good battle in there this afternoon. United obviously having two sort of sitting midfielders, but Tony Bashir and Sissoko. Let's just have a look at this. Manotti Arblaster making his move into the box. There is a slight contact, isn't there, from that view where... I think it's really soft, if I'm quite honest. It goes against you, you feel like you've had one that shouldn't have happened, but it might have been just a little bit blocked out there, Andrew Kitchen, and you know, that you've just seen the momentum and falling over from our blaster that might have just made his decision. And the subsequent penalty from Kiefer Moore was saved by Daniel Backman. Here is our blaster. It was a, a Sheffield United fan from the family of Unitedites. Then makes the move and Pollock is in the way for Watford. He's having that kind of season so far, Matty Pollock. Deli Bashiru. Suter steps in. And as usual with Harry Suter, he does not hold back. He certainly doesn't, neither does Deli Bashiru. He really wanted to take that ball on. What's that? Going back to the two in midfield with Sosoko and... Um, <laughs> I mean, that, that is such a good balance, isn't it? With a little bit of experience and legs and energy with Deli Bashiru. He's the one that will certainly have a bit of a drive, but the quality of Sosoko, really like what I see in there. Kayembe dropping a little bit deeper. This is... Raksaki, that's behind Callum O'Hare. Kayembe again. I guess we'll naturally will migrate more to uh, his natural role of a, a number six, but as we mentioned before, Tom Cleverley feels he's got all the attributes to operate higher up the pitch. And number tens in this Watford system. And he has to reserve his energy, doesn't he? And that's the times where maybe he's getting so far back defensively that sometimes it's hard to do, isn't it, throughout a game. So key role that he's got a plate. There's Harmer. Ahmed Hotsic. Well, he was after here, Ahmed Hotsic, as we see so many times, will drive forward 
if the space is there. Harmer. Our oh, blaster. There's Gilchrist. Now Raksaki. Found out with LaRussi and driving for the byline, but held by Backman. He's brilliant play as well from Raksaki. They need to get the ball out to him as much as possible. He's gone straight to Harmer. Harmer going for it. And Backman with the response and the hand of apology. Yeah, the big hand wave. Just giving the ball away cheaply, he knows, but he sorts that issue out. He makes a good save as well. It's a good strike from Stalvin Harmer. Saki, he's got to have that space out there where they get him on the ball as much as possible. He's a major danger. You really see he's direct and positive. Uh, apologies there for the brief loss of pictures. Unfortunately, he did not lose myself or Lee. He's still here. There's Gilchrist. Our blaster. Gilchrist again. Raksaki. It's a good contest, this, as we expected it to be. Rakhlin Hodzic. There's Harmer. He will start out from the left as he has done this season, then move inside. Gus Harmer. Who leads Ken calling forward an offer of around £13 million in the transfer window, and Sheffield United did not open their door. There's Raksaki. Sosa. Now Suter. That's Callum O'Hare. Vinny Sosa involved again. There's Harmer. Our blaster to Burrows. Andrews stood his ground and was caught there by Harmer. And this is his dream job. Moffat's first internal head coach appointment under the Pozzo's ownership. The last one was Sean Dyche. Last time Watford appointed internally. But he's wishing he's not a manager right now after what happened yesterday. Moving on, here's Vinny Souza. Sour grapes there, isn't it, Gary? Now Gilchrist. Kiefer Moore made the run in behind, but Gilchrist held on and Kiefer Moore has to check. Yeah, he wanted that ball in behind. It's a super run from Kiefer Moore. Just highlighting the space, the area for Murphy Gilchrist to float that pass into. Sosa. Burrows, here's Harmer. Kiefer Moore, protecting the ball well, Gilchrist, Raksaki. Raksaki, one way then the other, no way past Morris after escaping the clutches of La Russi. Yeah, and that's what they've got to get the ball out to him. He just gets everyone out their seats. Kiefer Moore, brilliant hold-up play. Yeah, on that right-hand side, I love the fact that he can go either way, can't he, Raksaki? He showed that already, happens go on his right or left. A little bit of trickery, a little drag back, and it's really good defensive work from Watford. Setting that shot going anywhere near Daniel Batman. Well, Suter is free at the moment on the penalty spot and has a, a free run here. He's gone around the back, see Ralta takes charge in that zonal defending system from Watford.
Callum O'Hare looking to make his presence felt again. Just have a look at the average position from Sheffield United. Just look at Slava Harmack. He said Gary's not playing out and out wide, he's playing in a more sort of central role, isn't he, off this left side that just gives that little bit of freedom for Wilson Burroughs. But all of them forward players really advanced in where they're picking the ball off, and that's just enabling Sheffield United to go on the front foot. Ali Bashiru left grounded by Vinny Souza. There has been this rebuild by Sheffield United. Chris Wilder's biggest rebuild since 2016. Shaq Fatanta makes his way forward here. It's not only the rebuild that's gone on here, there's a, a change in style as well. Chris Wilder wants them to be more possession-based. Build a bit more from the back. Stretch from Gilchrist, sends that behind, and Watford have a corner. A massive header, that is from Alfie Gilchrist at the back post. They're queuing up. Two at the back, waiting for that. Delivery to come in, it's good delivery as well. See Ralter who uh, was doing the defending. See Ralter who uh, was doing the defending and attack one in the opposite box. Way again by Gilchrist. Shaq Vertadze. He's got two for company. Plenty in the box here for Watford. Once again, no way past Alfie Gilchrist. He's such a threat, though, isn't he? Shaq Vertadze needs to just get that ball out of his feet. Again, he can go either way. Real spark in this Watford side. He's 25 years of age now is uh, Georgie Shakvatadze. He's the Georgian player of the year back in 2018. They are so good at producing talented footballers. Vinny Sosa again, keeping Watford at arm's length, then he goes down, the referee plays the advantage as Raksaki gets to this. That ball out wide to Raksaki, there's a... The late challenge. Raksaki driving at the heart of Watford. Sierra Alta once again does the defending for Watford. There's Gilchrist. Arblaster looking for O'Hare. Gilchrist again. Keeper Moore trying to get to that. Beaten to it by Pollock. There's Suter. And Pollock's there again. Well defended really well. The back three. The only time that Saki's gone by. Marusi. One of them centre-halves has stepped in. It's one of the reasons that Tom Cleverley plays the three centre-backs, to make them uh, a solid unit. It's something he had to do when he first took over in the spring to tighten Wofford up defensively, but he doesn't want to lose the attacking threat that they have. But that's one of the reasons he plays a, a back three, to add that extra centre-back. It's not his preferred system, he'd rather play a back four. It does make sense, doesn't it? And at times you will drop into a back five, but... I think it does offer that protection, but if you can get the system and you get the players buying into the system, then it can work really well. As I said, the fullbacks, the wing backs are, are really key. And having maybe an extra man sort of in the defence who can step into midfield at times, and sometimes you will end up being a back four, but as I said, it's all about personnel and, and the players buying into it. Yeah, lack of. Uh out and out wingers is another reason why Watford play this system. There's a wing back in Ryan Andrews. 
Kayembe. Deli Bashiru, Kayembe again. That's Morris. Andrews. Sosa in the way once more. He does love the defensive side of the game, Vinny Sosa. That's the Suto who gets to that. Our blaster knew exactly where Sissoko was. Again, the referee has played the advantage initially, now brings it back. And it's poorly up front. Well, our blaster really does lead by example for a young man, doesn't he? Shows his strength. Weight and gold in that midfield area. It's an experience. Sissoko chasing him around the field. Absolutely brilliant. Well, they've had the likes of Kai Walker, Harry Maguire, Dominic Calvert-Lewin come through the uh, academy system here in recent times. Oli Arblaster, another one. I mentioned another one who was on the bench. who was so impressive here when we saw him in the Carabao Cup a couple of weeks ago in City Peck. Arblaster, too much on that for Kiefer Moore. Yeah, another good player, isn't it? City Tech. Got some quality. Well, if you missed uh, what happened in the opening stages here, this is what happened. Callum O'Hare making his presence felt. And Daniel Backman could not do too much about that. And then Oli Blaster going down. Penalty given. Daniel Backman did plenty about this. Yeah, it's a brilliant save. I actually didn't think it was a penalty. I think it was just happened so quick. It's a difficult one at times to really see it over, but having seen the slow mo, I think the outcome might have been the right one, and that's just down to being saved by Batman. The decision wasn't correct for me. I don't think it was a penalty. Watford have had some good moments too. That really testing Michael Cooper in the Sheffield United goal. There was that moment of concern when Vacuum Bio went racing through and scooped the ball over him, but wide. Yeah, there's been some really good bits of players, and they're in the match stats will just tell a story, really. Possession evened out, touches in the position box is very close. I mean, listen, it's hard to call, isn't it? But I don't feel that. Watford have really asked enough, going to your point. Michael Cooper in goal. Alfred Hotsic finding Harmer. It's another dangerous ball. But again, no takers for the home team. But here they come again with Gilchrist. Away by Andrews. Arblaster slides in. Here's Harrison Burroughs. Now Suta. Raksaki making his full league debut for Sheffield United today. And he's had some good moments. There's Harmer. You might fancy this. He's linked up with our blaster who was always stretching. Harmer did go for it that time. I say what I expect him to do better from that range as well. The start by Harmer. Six. So kindly for him to make sure he hits the target here. Just look, it's all set perfect for him. Disappointed he hasn't at least tested Ratman in goal. This is one that I wanted to highlight. I mean, look at the space. And look where Kiefer Moore is. You don't want him in them situations. You want him obviously saving his energy to go and running towards the six-yarder. That's where his bread and butter is. Harmer involved again, as is Raksaki. Got two on him here, Jezza and Raksaki. Eventually it was three. Gilchrist, Pollock again, knew that Kiefer Moore was behind him. Suter. There's Vinny Sosa. Now Callum O'Hare. His head is always moving, always looking at what's around him. He's urging Gilchrist to make his way forward. Eventually he does. There's Arblaster. 
It's Arblaster, blocked by Sierralta. Arblaster again, it's a good spell this for the home team. Gilchrist, now Shaq Vatadze. Heavy touch invites the challenge of Burroughs. This is Harmer. Roared on by Bramall Lane, Gus Harmer. It's Harmer, kept out by Backman. Now Shaq Vatadze. Looking to hold off Burroughs and trying to release Vacuum Bio. Cooper thought about coming, now retreats. And he made the right decision as Ahmed Hodzic gets to Bayer. Tell you what, this is frantic just for Sheffield United. Have a brilliant passage of play. What could turn it over quickly? The times a brilliant composure, putting Bayer through. And then just taught me through the defending. Hodzic, absolutely brilliant. Well then, Chris Wilder down below us turn around to the Sheffield United fans, gesturing, saying, come on, how much did you love that from Ahmed Hodzic? And the fans responded, but Watford were looking dangerous there on the counter-attack. It's been a brilliant first half up to now, hasn't it? I know we've only had just the one goal, but this is a sign of two sides who certainly can produce something this season. Saki looks pleadingly towards the referee, but doesn't get what he was looking for. You know Serial has made some brilliant blocks as yeah. well, hasn't he? You know, from balls that have come in the box. He could be busy again here. It's Kiefer Moore. That was behind Harrison Burrows that time. Shaq Vitadze. it. Been a key player for Wofford in the first 45. LaRussi. There's Pollock. Kayembe, Pollock again. He's really improved on the ball so far this season, Matty Pollock. Something which uh, Tom Cleverley has noted. Shaq Vitadze, he's done well again. This is Andrews, fired in and over the head. And the inrushing vacuum bio. I'll tell you what, disappointing. They work the area absolutely so good, don't they? Shaq Vitadze as well, at the heart of it. I think it's got to be low, that as for... Vacuum bio to have any chance of getting on the end of it. Shaq Vitadze on the surge again, runs into Suter that time. It's a good championship scrap, this. There's LaRussi. LaRussi's cross, Suter defending, Watford corner. Pollock is waiting at the far post, Sierralta is in front of him as Shaq Vitadze lines this one up. The referee keeping an eye and having to keep an eye on everything. He's uh, called Suter and Matty Pollock to him. Yeah, I've had a few of them, I've been keeping an eye on these two and I think it was the last corner they had each other literally around the, the neck, each of them did. It's just a hug. Shaq Vitadze in towards that near post and Suter got to it. Two back for Watford, including Andrews. He did have a very uh, structured and clear plan, Watford, in pre-season. Tom Cleverley with his list of recruits. They had to be patient, the fans had to be patient as well. Before Watford got bodies through the door. There's also that uh, clear way of playing, the system of 3-4-2-1. And the way they want to play as well, which is uh, defensively solid, but also attacking games as well. And we've seen Watford try and attack this game whilst the time's being pushed back by Sheffield United. Yeah, I must say, I've been really impressed with Watford and what Tom Cleverley's done at the football club. 
watching her over the past few seasons, the identity hasn't been there. He looked really well organised. That's Sissoko, and Cooper holds on. Interesting about what the fans having to be patient. Even Elton John was publicly calling for signings in the summer. They got it done in the end, and Tom Cleverley got most of who he wanted through the door. A hush descends around Bramall Lane after uh, an absorbing opening 45 minutes here. And we'll have one additional minute. Gilchrist in a scrap with Delhi Bashiru. Tiptoeing forward. Shakfat adds it. There's O'Hare. Kiefer Moore in a race here with Sierra Kiefer Moore will get to it. Now he's looking for the cavalry to arrive. Raksaki. Callum O'Hare picks up the baton. O'Hare initially didn't look towards the referee, then did, but that's the end of the first 45 minutes. And Callum O'Hare and Daniel Backman have been at the heart of that first 45 minutes. Callum O'Hare's driving run led to the own goal from Daniel Backman. And then Oli Arblaster went down inside the box and he was yellow carded on the penalty was uh, saved by Backman, but was this a penalty right at the end? I think it might have been the second one there, where it... Sissoko just grabs his foot as he tries to get back on the pitch, so... I think when you compare the two, I think this one is definitely a penalty. If someone's grabbing your foot to stop you from getting back on the beat, you can see why... Come on, here's furious. Well, that is why he was raging at the end of the first half there, Callum O'Hare, but Andrew Kitchen and his officials didn't see anything in it if they saw it. Just the one penalty, which was saved by Daniel Backman, who kept out Keeper Moore, and Backman's own goal is the difference at the break. Sheffield United 1, Watford 0. Yes, thank you, Jules. Well, it was a soul-destroying relegation for Sheffield United last season, not just going down, but the way that they went down, 16 points, conceding over 100 goals. Chris Wilder doesn't believe that there has been a knock-on effect with his players because so many have gone and so many have come in with the rebuild that's been done. He may well believe that Sheffield United could have had a second penalty in this contest just before the break with Callum O'Hare hitting the deck when uh, Musa Sissoko pulled him back. But it was not given. Sheffield United are attacking the cop end of Bramall Lane in this second half. And this is Raksaki. Raksaki! And the Blades looking to make a blistering start to the second half, just as they did in the first 45 minutes. Yeah, they really have, haven't they? Come straight out the trap. Raksaki here. Another big block on route to goal, that is. Alter again. Put his body there. I'll tell you what, I don't think that would have been a million miles away. Wofford with their zonal marking system again. Harry Souter ready to make his move again as Burrows prepares to take the corner. Lifted towards the far post and Keeper Moore got free, got his head on it, but no trouble for Backman. It's a real poor header, isn't it, from Keeper Moore because he's got acres of space. He may have even been able to just bring that down on his chest. No one near him whatsoever. If not, just refilter it back into the six yard area.
There's Pollock. Bio hits the deck. There's our blaster. Now Gilchrist back to Suter. Hotic is caught by Vacuum Bio. Did move to. Uh, Udinese during the transfer window, Vacuum Bio offered sister club, that is now his pairing club before going back on loan to Watford for the rest of the season, but uh, Tom Cleverley did know that there was uh, always a, a chance that Vacuum Bio could leave, or maybe not come back in terms of he wanted to uh, play top-level European football, so the switch has been made to Udinese before arriving back at Vicarage Road on loan. Does divide opinion at times, Vacuum Bio, just simply because of the lack of goals for a striker, but he gets through quite a bit of other work in this Watford system. Yellow <laughs> card shown away of Musa Sissoko. Good play from Raksaki. Give and go, sharpness. And it's white, you see here, grab of the shirt. Souza. Gilchrist. It's uh, Yasser Larusi who is yellow carded for that pullback. I think Sissoko was just stating the case for the Watford left wing back. Which is why he was in the picture. There's Gilchrist. Now our blaster, Callum O'Hare. Souza. Oh, Harmer made the move in from the left flank. They couldn't direct it on target. It's so difficult to pick off, isn't it, defensively for Watford because not playing as an out and out winger. Stephen Harmer finds some clever little bits of space inside pockets. Did have that £17 million release clause in his contract this summer. Gus Harmer, as you mentioned in the first half, Leeds came in with £13 million, but Sheffield United didn't open the door for that bid. And the Blades have managed to hold on to him. Yeah, he's a key player, he really is, and I think even the fact that they bought Callum O'Hare in, and there does seem to be a wavelength, doesn't there, that they seem to be both on. Really attractive, creative players. Let's have a look at this penalty shot because uh, I thought this was definitely a penalty. I think Callum O'Hare is brilliant. He gets up, shows sharpness, but any time <laughs> you pull someone's foot back when they're the ascenders to get up, it's a, it's a blatant penalty for me. Have you kitchen seen that? Whether the ball was out of play is unknown, but that is a penalty and a clear and obvious one. And it's our blaster. Souza. Sierralta steps in. Souza with the challenge. Starts his case to the referee. Well, the card is coming out here for Sierralta. Well, he's asking for the yellow card, isn't he? For the challenge and. That's why Andrew Kitchen's coming over, waving the card to him, saying, we're asking, we're going to get one. We saw what happened in the uh, East Lancashire derby yesterday between 
Burnley and Blackburn. Meanwhile, Watford are about to make a change here with Ken Semmer about to come on. Here's the wave of the card. So here comes that Watford change right at the start of the second half and Yasser Larusi, who picked up that yellow card a few moments ago, is withdrawn and Ken Semmer will be a straight replacement in that left wing-back role. Well, it makes obvious sense because it's like he has been a nuisance, particularly in that first half, and he started the second half just the same. Tom Cleverley forced into that switch. Educated guesses because of that yellow card picked up by Yasser Larusi. And now Ken Semmer will have to try and keep a watch of Raksaki. There's Callum O'Hare. Now she's out there to greet him. Callum O'Hare, Raksaki. It was tight, it was intricate. Raksaki has a swing again, here's Deli Bashiru. And the flag has gone up for offside. That's a good play. Callum O'Hare, obviously, utilising the space in the wing areas that just allows Raksaki to go and play in a more central role. He's just waiting for a little bit of support. It just doesn't come in time. It's difficult to pick up Callum O'Hare when he makes those runs in behind into pockets takes players into uh, places where they don't want to particularly go Gilchrist Raksaki that's the first duel between he and Semmer Harrison Burrows comes across to take the corner as Harry Suter and Anel Ahmed Hodzic make their way forward. It's moved to our blaster. Now Harmer. It's Harmer who finds the cop. Again, just coming in from that left hand side. Strike not quite there, but I don't mind that. Just wanted to play in this 4-2-3-1 formation, which he had great success with during his days at Northampton. He's not always been a, a three at the back kind of man, Chris Wilder, albeit when they did come up with that system with the overlapping centre backs, the false number fives, it were to perfection to take them from the third tier to ninth in the Premier League. It worked well, didn't it? Long periods, and then I think teams just figured Sheffield United out. Had to change, which, as you can see, Chris has completely switched the formation. Trying to play a lot more football, maybe than being a little bit more direct. That's what they work in. Training field. Yeah, he doesn't want to be an out and out Barcelona from the past, but he wants to find that right balance between dominating possession, building from the back, and also passing with purpose. Here's Semma. Shaq Vatadze, who had a good first half for Watford. Semma again. There's Callum O'Hur. Semma determined to try and win it back. run of games is now a big test for Watford Sheffield United away today after the international break 
They've got Coventry, Norwich and Sunderland on the horizon as well. A team which has been flawless so far, Watford. And they're up against it here. Raksaki. Kiefer Moore. Sierra Now Matty Pollock. Harmar. Arblaster away from Shaq Vatadze. Again, the referee has played the advantage. Gilchrist. Unable to link up with Raksaki. Now Watford looking to try and profit from the space left by Sheffield United. With the ball being turned over. Shaq Vatadze. There's Semmer. Suter goes to ground. The corner is given. That's good play from Watford. Ken Semmer coming on, making that impact. And he'll drive forward. Potenza does brilliant to slide him into that space and equally as good defensively from Sheffield United. Very Suter coming on, just coming across and making a good challenge. Jamie Shackleton will be coming on shortly for Sheffield United. As Watford prepared to take this corner kick. Pollock is waiting at the far post. Now he's at the near post. It's gone beyond him and Cooper gets to it. There's Raksaki. So here's the change, it's uh, Alfie Gilchrist who is withdrawn and on in his place comes Jamie Shackleton. I highlighted at the start that players that Chris Wilder's brought into the building and Jamie Shackleton's one of them. He's another good signing, isn't he? I think when you look at the bench that they have and Great to know that you can sort of look behind and have the faith to bring players in. Yeah, straight swap at right back. Jamie Shackleton, no stranger to that role. Did come through as a midfielder, as we know. <laughs> Keep them all flung to the ground. the free kick but the referee says throw nothing more for Sheffield United who have the edge here thanks to that early own goal from Daniel Backman created by Callum O'Hare Shaq Vatadze looking to create something for Watford there's Semmer 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 Shackleton was there on the cover Semmer got the better of him but no one there in a Watford shirt to profit from it Good defending from Shackleton straight away. Can Semmer running at him? He has to make that decision and make sure he makes that contact correct. Andrews into Sissoko. Shaq Vitadze. Now Semmer, Shaq Vatadze has continued his run. It's Shaq Vatadze and Suter slams the door shut. He's been excellent here as for Watford. Shaq Vatadze. I love the fact that he's always on the move. He wants the ball, he wants to pass and receive it again. There's another who picks up pockets of space, Shaq Vatadze. He really does, and he's caused Sheffield United problems. Maybe to criticise maybe the end product. Final pass. Hasn't quite reached the destination. <laughs> and 
And there's Andrews. It's been a huge attacking threat for Watford so far this season. Andrews setting his sights and kept out by the woodwork. What a strike. I haven't seen an awful lot of Ryan Andrews this afternoon. He's had to do a lot of his defensive duties, but this is what I love about this young man. He'll go either side and he's not scared to take them opportunities on just catches the outside of the post. It's a super strike with his left foot. Versatility of coming inside and going outside. Keeping the marker guessing all the time. Yeah, it was Chris Wilder who gave him his league debut. And he had that uh, shorter, maybe not so sweet spell at Watford. In the spring of 2023. A bit of warning there for Sheffield United from Watford. There's Burrows. Souza. Burrows has gone for the return. And Sheffield United force a corner. So good to watch. And what the defending game league, as they have done long periods of this game. Patient approach from Sheffield United. 1 2, brilliant on that left side. Armour and Tyson Burrows. Suter makes the dash towards the near post, over his head. It's dropped to Callum O'Hare. Now Shackleton. Sam McCallum will be coming on shortly for the home team. There's Shackleton. Raksaki. He may be coming off shortly. There's Bayo with the touch. Shaq for Tadza. It's three against three here. Vinny Souza is after Shaq Vatadze. Shaq Vatadze goes to ground, didn't look for anything from the referee. It was a first challenge from Vinny Souza, who covered the ground superbly. Oh, he deserves a round of applause from the home fans, because that is brilliant. Watford flying out, the traps on the counter attack. Not a good ball delivered in, but just look at the ground that Vinny Souza covers. Vatadze driving into the space, he's been the most likely to cause problems. This is absolutely brilliant from Vinny Souza. So here's the Sheffield United change. Jezerin, Raksaki withdrawn, and on comes Sam McCallum. Raksaki has shown up well in this contest. and played a, a lot of football in pre-season and at the start of the campaign, so his day is over. Sia Ralta and Ackman Hodzic being uh, spoken to. Well, that's a contest too, isn't it? Harry Suter trying to keep out Wofford here. A bit of a conversation going on. <laughs> Four against three. Well, four against four now. And it goes from Shaq Vatadze, and Keeper Moore is in command. Pollock. Just wonder whether Harrison Burrows has been pushed further forward here for Sheffield United from his left back slot. He's versatile, can play. Left wing, he also plays at number 10, Harrison Burrows, as well as left back, which is where he started the contest. And keep an eye on how Sheffield United have reshaped here. In the meantime, our blaster, he got the call from the fans, Sissoko was after him. Yeah, looks like Gustavo Harm is going to come out on this right hand side and obvious reason, Sam McCallum dropping back in that left-back roll, just allowing Harrison Burrows to go and enjoy himself in the final third. Daniel Jebison is about to come on for Watford. Back at the place he used to call home. Left here 
in the summer to join Bournemouth. Played a couple of games for them at the start of this season before joining Watford on loan. Quadro Bar is also about to come on for the visitors. He's another who's made a real impact this season. And someone from the bench, Quadro Bar. Sosa. There's Shackleton. Now our blaster, Vinny Sosa. There's Burrows. McCallum on the outside. Burrows again. He's gone for the return. Andrews knew exactly what was happening, but there's Shackleton. Pollock. McCallum again. And holding back from Andrews or McCallum. Well, I'm sure Daniel Jefferson wasn't exactly expecting the red carpet to be rolled out on his Bramall Lane return. And he's about to come on. And uh, coming off, Vacuum Bio and also James Morris. Bar on, and Jefferson races onto a pitch that he knows well. Chris Wilder did say he wanted the home fans to give Daniel Jefferson a bit of a hostile reception here. I think Chris Wilder was leaving the booing actually down below us. But the club, Sheffield United, did try all they could to try and keep hold of Jefferson in the summer before he headed off to Bournemouth and subsequently to Watford and makes his Watford debut here. Jacques Vitadze. Let's see a router. Sissoko. There's Kayembe. Kayembe again. Dali Bashiru. Sissoko. Just keep an eye on uh, how Watford are, are reshaping here as well. Having withdrawn James Morris for the arrival, arrival of Quadro Bar. He does not like he's dropped a little bit deeper, so whether than one of them midfielders all the protection one might just have to sit with that defensive pivot and also drop into a, a back three. Not even go as a back four. Yeah, looks 4 1 4 1 for Watford now off the ball. There's Akhmed Hotic. Sosa. Bit of space for Kiefer Moore. Now Shackleton. Shackleton trying to uh, get the better of Kayembe, and now this is Ken Semmer. He's tangling with Harmer. And Sheffield United get the throw. And big boy in Harmer there because it's one of them situations where you just don't want to give a foul away. He's just probing and pushing. Shackleton away from Ken Semmer, delivers the cross. And Backman. Had to react at his near post. So good from Shackleton. It's a cheeky little nutmeg here with the left foot and then driven at the near post. Adjustment of the feet from Daniel Batman. He had to. I wouldn't say the delivery was exactly where he wanted it.
And we saw Kiefer Moore get free, but didn't really generate any power in his header from a, a similar situation a few moments ago. Burroughs again has launched it towards that far post. And Pollock picks himself up, and there's a problem here. Looks like cramp for Vinnie Sosa. He's covered a lot of ground here today. Oh, yes. You've seen that sprint. That's the full length of the pitch to make a challenge. That's brilliant, but it's not just that. It's the work ethic, the workload that is to get through. This is just last 10 shots. Just the attacking threat just hasn't been there, has it, really? Well, he's made changes, he's withdrawn the, uh, the third centre-back. He's put Daniel Jebison on to try and give Sheffield United something to think about. Did have a really good playing career, Tom Cleverley. He won the Premier League title during his Manchester United days, 13 caps for England, but he feels he could be better suited to being a head coach than he was as a player, feels more natural for Tom Cleverley. Admits though he's not been scarred by any bad experiences yet. But uh, so far from what he's seen, he's not fearful of the job, Tom Cleverley. And of course, he has that connection with the fans from his playing days. Some of these players are his ex-teammates and the owners as well. Has that connection from his uh, playing days at Wofford. I think that's important, isn't it? I think. Well, the football club has a bit of a mismatch of, of all sorts, but stability is going to be so key this season for them, and it does feel that they, they have that. So, so it's the best I've seen them for a few seasons now. And Vinny Sosa is back on his feet at the cop end away to our right, and it's ready to come back on by the looks of it. There's Kiefer Moore. Now Burrows. Ahmed Hodzic. Benny Sosa is back on the pitch as Suta. Brought that ball into Arblaster who took the hit. Sosa, there's Harmer. Made by Sierralta. Still just the one goal, the difference here as we head towards the final 15 minutes. Ahmed Hodzic sees the gap, he runs. Now Shackleton. Shackleton losing out to Semmer. And Shaq Vatadze, who's done well again. McCallum, able to get past Andrews, who struck the post here for Watford today. And he got really fortunate there. Sam McCallum could have really exposed Sheffield United, particularly that right side bar's got plenty of pace and sharpness. Just a bit of sloppiness there from Sheffield United defensively. Ince has been summoned by Tom Cleverley, so Thomas Ince, as his dad Paul has told us to call him. Don't mess with Paul. He's about to come on. Ahmed Hotsic. So Kiefer Moore making a move ahead of him. Kiefer Moore had moved into an offside position by the time the ball was played. He wanted it quicker. There yeah, they are. Really crying out for that second goal. Sheffield United wants to really kill the game off. What far is capable of? Oh, he really is. He's really direct. That sharpness of pace is scary at times. He's got good feet, good ability. So Thomas Ince is coming on, and he will replace Georgie Chakvetadze. 
who's been outstanding in a Watford shirt this afternoon. Yeah, I think he's been Watford's best player in long stretches. Everything that's gone forward or looked like there's going to be a creative outcome. It's gone through him. Pollock is forward here. Smashed away by Harmer after the initial defending from Kiefer Moore. Here's Shackleton. Trying to get the better of Barr, who stood his ground. Bar blaster. Here's Harmer. O'Hare's in the middle, and Sierra once again is in the way for Watford. He's been another big player for Watford defensively this afternoon. Now that's his job, but real crucial clearances in the right place at the right time, stopping that ball, getting to Callum O'Hare. Of course, Harmer. Sheffield United looking to try and seal their first home league win since December of last year when they beat Brentford here. Well, we've seen these go towards the far post so far from uh, Harrison Burrows. That's where Suter waits. Ackman Hodzic is also there. And Kiefer Moore. Again, it's gone towards that far post. And Backman got a touch on it and then took the hit. And he's down here. The referee will have to bring play to a halt. I think he's going to free kick in any case. It was a real late call. In the kitchen, there was no... No foul. That was obviously concrete. There is a collision there, there is. He took his time, and that's why the booze and jeers around the place, it was congested. Buckman back on his feet, but as soon as uh, there is any kind of injury like that, play has to halt, and then... Andrew Kitchen, who may well have had a conversation with his assistant on this near side, then gave Watford the free kick. There's Barr. He was out on loan at Burton Albion last season. <laughs> Deli Bashiru. Sissoko. There's Souza. Sissoka will get to it and try and drive Watford up the pitch here. Jefferson has strayed offside. The assistant referee was just waiting and waiting. Then the flag goes up. Yeah, some tight legs in that midfield area. Souza that gives the ball away. That's his pocket picked here. Maybe just run out of steam and then Daniel Jefferson. Too advanced. Needs to get forward. the academy here at Sheffield United, Daniel Jebison. Left in the summer for around about one and a half million pounds. That's crept through to Kiefer Moore. Kiefer Moore away from Sierra it's Kiefer Moore, and Batman makes the block, and Watford is still in this contest. Massive save. He's hold his head in his hands, because he knows he should have scored. This ball, inch perfect. Burrows in behind, and then everything right. Sits Sierra to Dan. Batman does it to him. I'm not sure whether he could have just slipped that ball into Callum O'Hare for an easy tapping just there, rather than taking that opportunity on himself. That should have been 2-0 Sheffield United. Well, once again, Batman coming out on top in the duel between the two. He saved his penalty in the first half. Again, they've gone towards the far post here where Suter was, and Batman has to scramble again across his line. Goal kick is the decision. Yeah, Suter heads that right to the near post. So good United wanted a corner. So McCallum gets in front of Daniel Batman, ahead of back here, and then it looks like he did have the last touch.
And there's Deli Bashiru. McCallum's in the way. Sissoko. Watford untouchable so far this season. Five out of five, including cut wins coming into this today. They were hit early on by that Daniel Backman own goal. They've won games in different ways so far this season. And they're trying right now to save this one. And ball by Kiefer Moore. There's Deli Bashiri. Ince. Ince again. Now Sissoko, but McCallum is plugging the gap for Sheffield United. There's Callum O'Hare who loses out. Andrews will give chase, pull back. No frustration from Callum O'Hare, knows he's given the ball away cheaply. Received the yellow card. Oh, the tug on Ryan Andrews. That's just a frustrating challenge from O'Hare. Wofford fans housed at, at that end of Bramall Lane. They've got ringside seats for this as they hunt an equaliser. Sierra amongst those waiting. Cooper has to take evasive action. McCallum trying to smash it away, it's gone straight to Ken Semmer. Barr, no way past McCallum, no way past Barr. It has been frantic at times, this contest. It really has. It's a big fist away from Michael Cook. He hasn't had an awful lot to do in this second half. Suter, that's gone straight to Pollock. And they were swarming around him. No surprise it was Sosa who was the closest to him. Barr made the block there. And Sosa stayed down. And it's one of them follow-throughs that looks quite nasty. And Sosa gets the strike. It's a blatant foul. Catches him on the bottom of the ankle. Very late. Well, Vinny Sosa is back on his feet. Sidi Peck is about to come on for Sheffield United. We were looking to end this home run in the league. It does feel that nervous energy. And Bramall Lane on the pitch. And that's the reason why we want to break that sequence. Have to break that sequence. Make this place the fortress that it can be. Hotsic. That is a real late challenge. And Andrews. And now, Akbar Hotsic, the recipient of that yellow card. Uh, that run that Sheffield United are on at home, by the way, is a club record. 11 game home run in the league without a win. Watford looking to try and extend that. Way with though from Barr. Rian Brewster is also about to come on for the home team. It's that nervous energy. A few sweaty brows. A few nails getting bitten. Football, eh? Keeper Moore is withdrawn. Uh, Rian Brewster comes on to replace him. Rian Brewster, who thought he'd scored here against Wrexham in the Carabao Cup, but it went down as an own goal. Then he had a penalty saved. 
he comes on and Callum O'Hare is also withdrawn for the arrival of Sidi Peck who spent 11 years at Arsenal and then arrived here as a 16 year old and has been making an impact yeah, good player really got that bit of bite and I like his confidence I do he's one to certainly keep an eye on yeah he can pass it he can also kick a few as well Sidi Peck and that's his own teammates in training Sheffield United looking to try and see this out. Watford hunting this equaliser. Sierra Alta. Sissoko. Committed by Ince. Since Peden is innocent, it's, it's another one of them challenges where he's you know, got to go and make that. And he's just trying to get control of the ball, he's unable to do so. Well, you can see Sheffield United live again after the international break, Friday 13th to sep uh, 14th of September. No, 13th, that's right. Hull is the venue, 7 30 Sky Sports Football. Then on the 14th, South East London, Millwall against Luton, who are looking to break their fall. 11 a.m. Sky Sports Football. And on the 15th, it's Portsmouth against West Brom. 2.30 Sky Sports Football. Did they get away with that? There's Pollock. Shackleton. Tim yes. Cleverly feels a top 10 target is a realistic aim for Watford this season. And the start they've made, you can see why he's confident. They're up against it here with time running out. But they've given a good account of themselves. And they want more of an attacking threat, Tom Cleverly. Yeah, I agree with the evidence what I've seen this afternoon. And in the games this season early on. Doesn't just fall in your lap. The wins that they've had. Well, Kayembe and Sidi Peck were getting involved. Then Harmer had his say, and the referee wants a few words of his own. And he just defuse the situation. Can Watford save this? Sierra Alta's at the near post. Plenty back for the Blades. Ackman Hotsic getting to that. That was Jebison. That's McCallum. The highest yet. McCallum tries to get to it again. Bodies tumbling inside the box. The officials happy with what they're seeing. There's Andrews. He couldn't bring the ball under his spell, but now Backman will pick up for Watford. Backman again. Needs the clutches of Rian Brewster. Five additional minutes at the end of this game. Shackleton steps in. And then Shackleton hits the deck, and the free kick goes the way of Sheffield United. Well, there were some really fruity challenges happening. Three or four on the bounce there. City Pet. And that one. And Shackleton. That would just relieve that pressure and calm things down for Sheffield United that might just see him over the line. The home fans standing shoulder to shoulder with those who play for them on this football pitch as they try and see this through. Here's Harmer showing his strength. Shackleton goes down and it is another Sheffield United free kick. And 
this just goes in the favour. Sheffield United's going to have to keep making silly fouls. It's just running that clock down. It's taking the sting out of the game. This play is full of passion and energy. It's been so long since they've seen a home league win. <laughs> that was interesting from uh, Rian Brewster. That's one way of protecting the ball. Brewster again. Much more orthodox way of protecting the ball that time but this will do for Sheffield United and Watford need to get themselves up the pitch here with time running out it was always going to be a tight game right two sides who will certainly be in the thick of it this season been really impressed by both actually Deli Bashiru wiped out by Harmer the yellow card for Gus Harmer and something's happened up Away from the ball too, Jebison is being pushed away. And the officials having to have eyes everywhere here. It was threatening to boil over, it's just boiled over. Yeah, it really has. The Harmer challenge was naughty. You could see it coming, but something went on in the centre of the field and it was Jebison and Suter. They've been having a little bit Quite some time now. Well, Vinnie Sosa gesturing to the fans to raise the noise inside Bramall Lane. But what have the officials seen here? The other card looks to be going the way of the former Sheffield United player on his return to Bramall Lane. Now, what's next? waved in the direction of Harry Souter, that yellow card. Let's have a little look at it. This is the challenge out wide, and then there's an awful lot going on. You can just see at the top of your screen. Anderson and Souter just pulling each other. So, now come two yellow cards. And Cooper will watch the ball, bounce behind for a goal kick. A confirmation of the yellow card to Daniel Jebison on his Bramall Lane return. He is fired up, as you'd expect him to be. And Harry Souter also but It's been feisty, it's been frenetic, it's been frantic. Just the one goal, but plenty to talk about. Yeah, it's been a brilliant game, it really has. All them aspects. Yellow card now for Michael Cooper for delaying the restart. Sheffield United are almost there, although we will have a, a bit more added time to the added time now for Watford to try and rescue it. Into the block. Well, he is one of them, Chris Wilder. He is a, a Sheffield United fan through and through. He used to watch games here at Bramall Lane as a supporter. First love here at Bramall Lane, Chris Wilder. And looking to try and lead Sheffield United back to the Premier League. After the rebuild and the reset here in the summer. The Watford have shown enough here and in the, uh, the opening few weeks that they will be a threat this season. And they've still got time here. Brewster, he goes down. And Sheffield United get another free kick and that may just do it now for the Blades. Yeah, they've really had to dig deep. The closing stage is Sheffield United. That's what the football club's all about. That's their makeups in their DNA. And at times, just getting that win under your belt. At 
sometimes it's not got to be pretty. Lee, who's your player of the match, I can guess? Yes, that one. That's in the picture. He's been everywhere. I mean, when you want someone who can dig deep, really show character. We've seen him waving and getting the fans up. He deserves my player. Well, there's an opportunity as uh, Pat made his way forward, but no way past Backman. That's it! Sheffield United retake control of Bramall Lane. Their homeland, their first league win on their land in this calendar year. And Watford's 100% record falls as they are beaten for the first time this season. It was feisty, frantic, frenetic, and it's carrying on after the final whistle here. Players having to be separated on the Bramall Lane pitch. Well, it threatened to boil over just before the final whistle. Quite a few subplots have developed out there. Of course, Daniel Jeverson's return to Bramall Lane. Sidi Peck, who is a fiery character, a youngster coming through the system here, being carried away there by Kiefer Moore. Tom Cleverley's right in the thick of it as well, trying to act as peacemaker. It was that kind of contest here today. Both teams gave absolutely everything. Both went at each other. But Sheffield United have come out on top. The early own goal from Daniel Backman, created by Callum O'Hare. Then Daniel Backman had to make a penalty save to keep out Keeper Moore in the first half, too, after Oli Arblaster hit the deck and won a penalty. Watford struck the post in the second half through Ryan Andrews. But they couldn't get that elusive equalising goal and Sheffield United dug in and held on. Keeper Moore kept out also in the second half when one-on-one -on -one with Daniel Backman. Plenty to discuss, plenty to sort out. It is finished. Sheffield United 1, Watford 0.